double edge pressure from an easy setup. Coming up next. This is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel, show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, uh, I'm actually was in the lab and I was working on a blitz setup for the 43 over plus. Uh, this actually is a universal setup, so you can pretty much use it on all different types of covered shells. So you could be a cover three, a cover four, a cover two. Uh, so it provides you a little bit more flexibility with this. I'm going to show this to you in the cover four on how to set this blitz. Uh, I will tell you, be very, very transparent with you, this is not not the best blitz in the game. There are there are, there are better blitzes in the game. Uh, this is not the best defense against run support. I actually used it uh, against, online against a guy that really used a lot of heavy running, and I had to jump out of it because it just didn't have the run fits I was looking for. But it is a good defense to jump into in third and long type of situations. It's going to force your opponent to block seven. So in other words, if he's using, if he's using a lot of crossing routes, and stuff like that this is going to put you in a situation where uh, you can do that and especially if it's a if third and long or fourth and long uh, you're going to basically get the pressure you're looking for all right so going against uh, basically a blocking running back we're going to make the following adjustments we're going to go ahead and base a line show blitz just to get our guys down in the, in the box we're going to take our defensive line uh, and by hitting the left bumper and slanting inside or crashing in so you're going to see the guys crashing like this and then we're going to go ahead and uh, blitz our, our linebackers our left li left of screen linebacker and blitz our right of screen linebacker by hitting the right bumper and then the, le the right stick right and right stick left so it's going to be essentially shut up, uh, set up like this. Now, the uh, the advantages of this defense is that it does get pressure against the block running back. Uh, it does get very fast pressure. The disadvantage is that. Um, you know, it's 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 it, you're basically going to be showing your hand to your opponent. So if you use it in a scheme, it's it's been pretty effective. You're going to hover over the safeties. You can see the pressure actually comes in clean on both both edges. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this off. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and have, have your fastest right of screen lineba uh, linebacker. So this guy, uh, so it's going to be basically uh, this guy over here uh, is going to be our fastest linebacker at the lead position. Uh, so I think that uh, White has a little bit faster or Morrow is a little bit faster. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get uh, a better adjustment on that. Uh, so let's just go ahead and put this guy in the middle middle read right here and we're going to pass commit uh, if possible and we just want to hold our blocks right there and you can see I've got uh, a high shell so if he does go ahead and lob the ball up I've got that type of uh, protection so let's just go ahead and see if we can set this up one more time and you can see the pressure actually comes in and I've also got uh, def defense for the for the high uh, high ball so so you can see I've got pressure coming in on both sides. I've got this pressure right here coming right in. And I've also got this pressure coming in right here because this defender is on an island against the tackle. And because I'm preoccupying the center, it bunches these guys up. So I've got dual edge pressure coming in. If he blocks his running back, it gets even better. So if he blocks a running back with this, you're going to play. You're still basically going to get that pressure coming in uh, if he blocks that running back. So you can see the pressure actually comes in right there uh, with the block running back. Is this the perfect play? No. Um, I can, I'll can. i be very uh, transparent with you that this particular blitz setup uh, is not as consistent as some of the other blitz setups the, uh, against your opponent. Uh, but it is a good blitz to go ahead and throw into your scheme, uh, basically not to, to kind of throw them off a little bit. Now there's another setup you can do with this particular defense to get really instantaneous pressure. So this is a good blitz to go ahead and throw into your opponent if he's in a fourth and long situation or a third and long type of situation. Uh, and the blitz actually itself uh, is the the free safety will three the free safety will three so this is uh, one of those situations where you're really you, you don't want to you definitely don't want to spam this blitz a lot um, because most players are going to be able to pick up the tendencies of this particular blitz 
Uh, but basically you've got the safety coming down. You're going to go ahead and show blitz uh, in base align, crash down, and then you're going to go ahead and blitz like this. Yeah, I'm sending seven people here, so I, I better get some pressure against my opponent, but obviously that's going to go ahead and put you in a situation where you've got a huge hover, a lot of area that you've got to cover against your opponent. So, um, But you can see the pressure just comes in really, really intensely against an opponent that's either blocking his running back or blocking seven. And he has got to get rid of that ball quick because regardless if he blocks a bunch of people, regardless if he bl blocks a bunch of people, two people are always going to get in uh, regardless of who he blocks. There's always going to be two. In this type of situation, there's actually three people because he, yeah, you have three people coming in with this blitz setup uh, because he, he sent out a fifth, he sent out his running back. So you can see this, this quarterback had to get rid of the ball quick majorly quick what's the weakness of this defense well obviously uh, any kind of Ohio concepts where you have just a streak route that's going straight up uh, little out routes out routes are gonna basically eat this up uh, come uh, like uh, just a just a coral route will eat this up because the defensive backs can't do this especially against cover four so you could basically go ahead and build a scheme where you're actually put, throwing out some um, flats out there to actually go ahead and and and, and bait your opponent into blitz or into uh, throwing a long ball but the middle of the seams are wide open you have to you have to carry a lot of different areas so not necessarily the best blitz uh, most safest blitz but it is a blitz that you can you can throw in in those those third and fourth and long type of situations where you need to go ahead and get a stop against your opponent make sure he's got to get rid of the ball I won a game with this particular blitz uh, at the very end of the game because I didn't show it to him the entire time. So once again, to my subscribers, thanks for your support, guys. Make sure to smash that like button if you do like these kind of tips, and I'll be rolling out some more offensive, defensive tips to go ahead and take your game to the next level. Thanks a lot for your support. Until next time.